Hi everyone, this is BSC. Today we're going to talk about Thales of Miletus. Now before we start, let's go back to 6th century BCE, where there was no science. How did people back then explain the weird things going around us? Like mm, natural disasters and well, the weather. They didn't have an explanation, so they were like, dang it, there must be some divine creature that controls all of this. So they started worshipping the god. But this theory wasn't good for some people. Around 6th to 5th century BCE, a group of people started trying to explain these phenomena with natural rational explanations among, and among them is Thales of Miletus, the first known philosopher of the entire world. As a rational thinker, Thales inevitably proposed the important question, what is everything made of? He thought that fundamental material of the universe must be something that can form everything essential to life Capable of motion, therefore capable to change. He observed that water is necessary to all forms of life. It moves and changes, takes different forms such as ice, vapor, and liquid. So Thales concluded that the universe must be made of water. As interesting as Thales' uh, theories are, they're not the true importance of Thales. His true importance lies in the fact that he is the first known thinker who seek natural and rational answers to fundamental questions. He and the later philosopher of the Milesian school laid the foundation for future scientific and philosophical thought across the entire Western world. And that will be it for today. Thanks for watching this video.